Michelle back with some middle school and high school readers all the way up through young adult. I um, wanted to show you this series. This is a discontinued series, but I do have a few of each of these. This is the I Am Jack series. Um, this is about, uh, this is actually the same Jack from the um, Hey Jack series, I believe. And um, this one in particular is about a kid that's being called a names and he's in big trouble and school is getting dangerous. So these are kind of more um, for your kiddo who might be wanting to read a book about um, emotions and struggles with school. It's a really good um, series for jumping off place as far as talking to your kids um, about stuff, um, about courage and stuff like that. Um, I have a few of these and I would definitely recommend them um, for your more sensitive souls um, because they are, it's a really good um, series. This is a standalone book. This is The Adventures of Alfie Onion. This is about a kid who's setting up on an adventure with his brother to make the family fortune. And then he winds up hating adventures and Alfie has to save the day. Um, it's a fun read. You can see the reading level there. It does have some pictures um, as well. So I think that your um, late elementary school readers could also probably read this. But this is a fun and funny read. This series cracks me up. This is the Mythical Nine series. There is, um, I think, three or four in this series. This is a British um, book that has some, you can see it has some graphic novel elements to it. It is about yetis that are out to save the world, and I'm not joking about that. Um, it's very cheeky, has a lot of funny humor, if you have a kid that likes comics, they're going to love the series, and I have several of, of each, so you can buy the first one, first and second, first, second, third, if you would like to. If you have a kid that likes more fantasy, I would recommend The Impossible Quest. This is for your kid that likes witches and knights and sword fights and things like that. King Arthur lovers, um, this is the book for you. Um, these, this is a series that has to be read in order, but don't worry, this is the first one. I have plenty of them. I do have plenty in the entire series. Um, I'm sorry, I failed to mention that this, uh, these are $5.99, and the other ones, I believe, are $5.99 as well. So sorry about that. I didn't mean to forget about that. Um, if you have got a mystery lover, this is a great series. There are actually three or four in this series. I have the first two. This is The Mystery of the Clockwork Sparrow. Um, you can see this is a sizable book. So now we are getting up to your middle school, high school level. You've got no pictures, you've got small print. This is a very gripping read actually, I've read it, it's pretty good. Um, this one says, you are cordially invited to attend the grand opening of Sinclair's department store. Um, and then there's some uh, criminals and some heroes that have to break a bunch of codes to find out what's going on to bring the villains to justice. Um, this is a great, great mystery. Um, would definitely recommend it for your mystery lovers. It's six ninety nine because it is a bigger book. Star of Del Toro. This is a wonderful choice if you like sci-fi and you're looking for a, a book with a very strong female role model. Um, it's written by a woman and the main character is a woman. It's about a girl named Britta who's always wanted to be a traitor like her father. And then... Um, she starts doing that and she's off on her father's quest and then it winds up going all wrong and she has to um, win back her future. There's three in this series. I do have all three. I have plenty of the first one. I would recommend this um, to your older readers, especially your older daughters. I'm always looking for books that have a really strong um, female protagonist um, where the woman is not the damsel in distress. This is a great choice for that. This is another one that I find personally funny, but um, you know, it's it's in right now, Boy Band of the Apocalypse. Um, I only have this one because this is a brand new book um, series, but there is more than one and I can order for you. You can see the reading level there. Again, we're looking maybe middle school. You could even read it in high school if you wanted. Um, and this is about a kid that has to like infiltrate this boy band. <laughs> because um, it winds up that they're 
trying to destroy humanity. It's it's silly, but you know what? It's funny. It's a fun read. It's $6.99. It's good for your kiddos that like that kind of stuff. I, I think it's fun. Um, a couple young adult slash high school novels that are kind of dystopian. I have the Mapmaker Chronicles. This is a trilogy. I've got all three of them. This is about um, a king who's been promised a prize to someone who can map out the entire world. Um, and then he real the, the main character realizes he has this special talent and he discovers all these runaways and all he has to face sea monsters and all that stuff. You can see in here, no pictures, small print. We're definitely looking at um, high school level here. Another great high school level, if you have kiddos that like adventures and ninjas, uh, another trilogy is the Koromori series. I have plenty in this series of one, two, and three. This is the first book. This is about a guy named Kenny who arrives in Japan and then things get all weird and he has to destroy all of these monsters. Like I said, he's a ninja. If that is something that your kid likes. And then we have this other dystopian one. This is a brand new, this like reminds me of if you have kids that like, um, what's the national treasure, stuff like that, where they have to, Da Vinci Code, where they have to break codes and stuff. This is a cipher trilogy. It's all about a kid that has to, is an orphan and has to uncover all of these secrets. And in it, he has a coded manuscript that he has to figure out. So this is a really cool series, a trilogy as well, for your high school or your young adult or even for you.